Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're going to look at this really cute little set of pocket picks. This is, um, well, you can't tell there's no branding on it, a Dangerfield nano set. And if you weren't sure, then you just pull out one of the picks and you can see that it says on here Dangerfield nano. And you can buy this on UK Bump Keys for um, about £34.99 pence at the time of filming. Obviously, prices do change, um, which is about $48.50 or somewhere or thereabouts um, in. US money. Uh, the case itself is, it's okay, it's a bit rough around the edges and um, it, yeah, it's, it's not exactly double stitch at the corners, but it's also not too bad. And listen, it's, I think it snaps back with a, a magnet, I think. See, hear that? Um, you can also probably hear a motorbike outside. Anyway, um, what you get here is some. Uh, and I'm going to get these wrong, okay? But I, I think you've got um, the two uh, cycloid rakes, two sinusoidal sinusoidal rakes, which are the quad and the quince, so four and five peaks. And then you've got your standard um, sort of ow, um, trying to pull this out, sort of Bogota style peaks here with the with the. Uh, Double peak, triple peak, and quad peak. You also get um, here a tension tool, just the one. And to review this kit, I'll be trying to use just this tension tool um, when I do the review here. Now, in terms of the general look, I think the case is full leather. It's okay. Like I said, it's a bit rough around the edges, but it's all right. Um, I like the way it's presented. I think that's quite nice. Let's have a look at one of these and have a look at the general finish. Um, not the best, but by no means the worst. Nothing too sharp here at all. Definitely could probably use these out of the pack. Uh, no problems at all. Uh, a little rough down there in the in the valleys, but again, nothing too bad. Um, they are quite small. I've seen a few of these sorts of finger picks, these nano picks before from other manufacturers. Uh, this is in the same sort of um, uh, length and, and and general width. It's it's not bad actually. You know they're, they're like I said they they don't look too bad. They're not finished too badly. They're the right sort of size for these types of pocket picks. I think we should just pick a few of these profiles at random and, and pick a, a few locks with them, um, and then and then we can think about sort of comments. So we're probably not going to get through all of the the rakes in this review. Um, a lot of them will act in a very similar way anyway, but it's nice to have the options. I'm just going to go through a few locks on this. The first one being this Master Lock um, XL or Magnum, the M1 keyway. So it's going to go in and um, put a bit of tension on here. And oh, we've got an open. That worked out actually really, really nicely. Um, and the size of this didn't really make too much of a difference to me. It's nice to have a longer handle to rest on um, the... Um, the, the crook of my hand here, but when I'm raking, it doesn't matter that much in my opinion. It's more when I'm single pin picking, so this isn't too bad at all, actually. We all know how the triple peak performs, so I'm going to use a quad uh, peak like this in this Mastock 3 and give this a go. Um, oh, that's um, that's really rough in there. Uh, let's give this a, a pick. Do you know what? I'm already. A, Okay, well, it's on tension and not very heavy tension, but it's it's sort of trapped behind the pins. These valleys are so deep compared to a lot of other bow ties I have, and the finish is a little rougher and it's trapping the pins. I, I, I don't like that. I might try and swap to a more rounded set of peaks like this one, like that. There we go, and see whether that acts a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to try a rocking motion as well. Certainly a lot smoother, and we're open. Yeah, that that uh, quad peak there was just not working out. Look at the difference between these two here. That was very, 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 um, that was dragging inside the lock. Uh, the pins were getting trapped in there as they were setting, but these rounded peaks were a lot smoother and a lot easier on um, a, a simple lock like this. So that is something, I guess, um, something to bear in mind. Sometimes the choices, uh, somewhat sort of lock dependent, but it's a little bit um, odd that we have something which is sort of so so deep 
uh, in terms of the these quad piece or triple piece or whatever they're, they're quite uh, fierce I'd say just as a demo and probably to finish off this review I've got uh, three different types of peak here um, of different depths you can see the amplitude difference and that can make a difference in these locks so for example I come across this euro cylinder it's a pretty typical one six pins security pins and this one you see I'm using the same technique it just doesn't feel right with these rounded peaks um, and they're quite shallow on this one so not fantastic no so I'm going to stop we're going to go to something a bit deeper so increasing the amplitude here and straight in see whether that helps again super light tension just a bit of rocking and scrubbing but not getting anywhere so again I'm going to go increase the amplitude again to something like this triple peak here there we go and I'm going to put that in and give this a a little rake as well and we're open now why might that be why is it that uh, these different ones would work so this one feels more comfortable in the lock it glides through more easily um, this one does as well and this one is a little harder but it seems to jump the pins up and down more so it's more of a kinetic feel um, if we look at the the bitting there you might see it's also more up and down so maybe you just need those deeper amplitudes um, when you're raking so that um, you can pick those uh, pins more easily when it matches the uh, I guess the the bitting of the the lock a bit more easily like this where it has better pin clearance around those low set pins can you see what I'm trying to say there so that's what I'm thinking is that you know you 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 choose the right one for the right lock and it really does sort of make a difference what profile you use even if they are quite similar um, so yeah definitely again worth bearing in mind so in conclusion what do I think this Dangerfield Nano set well um, the quality is really good I think um, you know bear in mind these are sort of pocket picks uh, or finger picks they're not full-size picks but I haven't found that to be particularly restrictive as I've been raking not single pin picking I think if they are single pin picking um, it might be a, a different question but yeah not too bad actually um, in terms of the selection I don't hate any of these profiles at all as I think I demonstrated it does actually matter sometimes with a lock uh, what profile you choose for that particular lock and so having a range can certainly help they're not going to get you into every lock but um, there's a lot of locks that they will get you into so that's fine uh, a couple of things which um, I think it's missing this is actually not a bad tension tool I thought I was going to hate it because I don't like twisted ones but it's pretty strong it works really well but maybe a smaller one and um, a non-twisted handle in there as well maybe a, a top of the keyway tool um, a pry bar would be nice to have in there as well i know you could supplement the kit but one tension tool for a kit is a little bit lacking i'd say um the other thing i'd say is that um whilst i don't have a problem with any of these profiles there are a couple of things sort of missing like i think like a, a short hook would be really useful so maybe a short hook instead of the the quad peak would be my personal preference or maybe instead of the the, the, the dual peak but probably the quad peak I'd say because we've got some other uh, quad and quint profiles up here but yeah I mean in, in general I think a hook would go a long way because you could rake to a full set and you would really need a hook at that point to um, help pick those last uh, pin or pins so yeah I'd probably either I mean you could probably add a hook in a nano hook and keep still a couple of tension tools tucked in there as well that's what I'm thinking um, but that being said do I dislike any of these profiles no I don't also it's slightly strange that they've gone for all of these um, different but similar type of wave profiles in terms of their uh, action that um, I'm thinking that uh, you know with the these Bogota type picks you could um, you have ones which is like uh, you you might not have a peak here for example um, so that that be another profile or you might only have the one at the beginning and the one at the end or you might have um, this one missing and then that's a triple peak but with one missing and that can again help with certain locks with uh, certain bittings um, so I'm not entirely sure why 
uh, these profiles were chosen. They're good profiles. We're not sure why these in particular were chosen as to be the ones to put into this kit. Do I hate them? No. Would it have been my choice? Probably not. Does it matter? Well, I'm only one opinion and yours might be different to mine. So uh, you can't mark down a set like this based on my own personal opinion about what I put in it. Um, but certainly I think it would be improved uh, no end by having, like I said, a short hook and a couple of extra tension tools. The other thing you'll notice here is that, look, see how it's um, these are moving like that? And if I put them together, they'll, they'll stick. It's because this is actually uh, magnetizing the picks. I think you see the magnet there and here in terms of like where it's been rubbing on there. So if I, I can literally pick up a pick on it and it's literally magnetizing these picks. Is it a problem? No, but it's, uh, it's I just found it very annoying when I tried to put these together and I couldn't put them quite close together because they'll, they'll keep rotating around. <laughs> it's a stupid thing to say, I know. But yeah, there you go. So um, that's a Dangerfield Nano set. Um, like I said, the quality seems to be very good. I'll, uh, I do like all these profiles. It's a pretty neat little kit. I'd love to know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have a comment, again, leave a comment. I'll read them all or reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel out and I'll see you all next time.